Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And today we are covering the Isle of Cats Don't Forget the Kittens. I did not cover this in my Monday 2 Back, back or Not Kickstarter Roundup because there is there is a lot going on here with like 15 different pledge levels, pledge level options for returning backers, for new backers, for all of that stuff. You can spend anywhere between like $40 or I think it's actually the lowest pledge is higher than that, but you can spend fairly reasonably priced or go all the way up to like $250. So there's a lot of different things going on, a lot of different expansions and content to cover from the new to the old and all of that. And so I wanted to, well, go into it in a dedicated video. Now to begin with, first of all, kudos to, to Frank West, kudos to City of, City of Kings. Uh, is it City of Kings or City of Games? I can't remember the name of his company. The name of his company, he originally did City of Kings. I don't remember the name of his company right now. I don't remember what it was, but either way, his Kickstarter is at $714,000, 6,000 backers, 24 days to go. It already, within a matter of days, has already exceeded... The, the total funding of his last Kickstarter. His last Kickstarter, or the last one in the series, the Isle of Cats. The Isle of Cats brought in £467,000 in terms of in the whole entire project, okay? 8,000 backers, £467,000. We're already coming close to that number of backers, and we're already at 714000 which is over £500,000, with, already within a matter of days. So, offhand, kudos to him, good job, all those things over here. Apparently, people like beautiful art and polyominoes and drafting and and games that have gotten a lot of ratings very positively from a variety of sources. And with that, let's go ahead and go into this. Now, secondly, kudos to him because in addition to the amount they've raised, the campaign page is tremendously well done to the point that, I mean, you could skip this entire video and go to the campaign page. And as long as you want to take the time to go through or to read through things, it is structured as well as I could possibly imagine, given the amount of things they're trying to convey here, because they are trying to convey a lot of things. And so that structure is important. And speaking of structure, timestamps down below in case you want to jump to any particular segment of this video to cover the, the should you back it, to cover you want to find out about this expansion, that expansion, the enamel pins, or who knows whatever it is, it's up to you. But go ahead, timestamps, or just keep watching and stick around, stick along for the ride. So, with that said, what is this? Let's begin with the Isle of Cats as a as a general coverage of the Isle of Cats. The Isle of Cats is going to be a polyomino game where you are rescuing cats from an island before the evil conquerors come and destroy the island and all the cats with it, and so you are, well, doing your noble work of rescuing cats from an island. To that end, every round across five rounds, you're going to basically try to rescue cats. You're going to start by drafting cards. Cards are going to be anything from baskets that will help you rescue cats to, to various uh, abilities to, to various uh, more permanent baskets or one-time use cards that will give you more of, a, of an edge of speeding up being the fastest player every single round to have first choice you'll have options for for lesson cards you'll have, to have, you have lots of lesson cards you'll be add both public and private lessons that will give you scoring objectives if you achieve x if you achieve y if you do all that so basically it's a drafting game with a lot of cards to go through all different kinds of options in those cards from there, the fastest player, the person who played the most boots, will have the opportunity to jump in and go ahead and get the, the cats that they want to add to their boat. So you're going to have cats on both the left and the right side of the island at various co costs of fish, either three or five fish respectively. You're going to be taking those cats, adding them to your boat, as well as other things such as Oshaks, which are these white cats in the middle that you see over here, as well as treasures as well. So lots of different options as far as that. Rinse and repeat for five rounds, and then score for a variety of things such as filling rooms, such as uh, rats remaining, such as the various lesson cards in play, a whole bunch of options such as your cats cat families being able to string together cats of like colors so effectively it's a polyomino game with variable objectives with drafting and that is effectively the isle of cats now that was the original kickstarter and and the original game that has been around for available the original game that you could buy for as little as 38 bucks at miniature market or any of these online stores so the fact that we're potentially paying 250 dollars has a whole lot of gap to explain. A gap that I can explain because there's a whole lot of content and things being added here for you to get. Anything from additional expansions, from the expansions in the original Kickstarter, the five to six player expansion, late arrivals, from the Kickstarter content for the original Kickstarter, from the new expansions to the big box with inserts to enamel pins, whole bunch of options for you. And to that end, let's go ahead and go through this. So also they have a standard game, a family game, and a solo game. I didn't cover that. Basically you could play it solo and you can play it with a little bit of a stripped down rule set to make it more accessible for family family gamers. And from here, we get to the first part of what I love about this Kickstarter. This is literally a step-by-step, -step, who are you? Do you own the game already? Do you not? Okay, great. Well, here are the pledges we recommend. But wait, there's more. We're going to do but wait this more like four more times. Okay, great. So let's start with that. Do you own the Isle of Cats already? If yes, then you just want the three new expansions. The three new expansions are going to be the Kittens and Beast expansions and the Boat Pack. Yes, we'll cover those. Yes, timestamps down below to cover those, to look for where the coverage of those, as well as the TBD box, which effectively is the Kickstarter pack for what we're seeing in this Kickstarter. 
If you don't own Isle of Cats, then let's get the base game and all the new content. So basically the base game plus all the original content from the from the last game. This is not including late arrivals. This is going to include the three new boxes and the Kickstarter thing. So basically that new arrival starter kit does not include the five to six player pack. My own personal opinion is I don't want to play Isle of Cats with five or six players. That said, if you do want to experience a polyomino game like Isle of Cats with five to six players, there aren't a ton of options for that. So if you do want to play it with five players, then you'll need that expansion pick pack. If not, then, well, you don't need it because it's just giving you more content for a five to six player game. Moving on. Okay, great. Well, would you like the two minute big box? Again, they're breaking it down in both those lanes. Would you like the two minute big box? If yes, well, then upgrade to the veteran over here. If not, then upgrade to the, the to this pledge over here. If yes or if no. So you either stick with the original pledge or you go forward. So again, they're giving you these options. We'll cover those big boxes as well. Moving forward, further, do you want the Explore and Draw, the Risk the Roll and Write version of, of Isle of Cats? Totally different game. This is not the same game as Isle of Cats. It's not an expansion for Isle of Cats. This is a separate game entirely. We will cover it. Timestamps down below. Next up, do you want the Enamel Pin Collection? Same idea. So they guide you through your different pledge levels in terms of your options. And then, yes, you can custom put together your own pledge level as well. That said, the pledge levels they have put together do have discounts on them. You can go through the price of your pledge level. You can go through the price of of what you want there are discounts in place just to give an example the veteran three pledge is going to cost you 108 euro if you bought it separately and 108 pounds if you bought it separately and 89 pounds if you buy it in their pledge options so there are reasonable discounts at play if you get the bundled pledge levels so when you decide what you want figure out that and compare it to the closest pledge level i wish i could break them all down for you but this is way too much stuff to to really do and way too many potential combinations to potentially break down so ultimately know there is a discount and package your things accordingly and with that let's go ahead and go through the new content i'm literally just going to follow his page because they did a great job going through it so to begin with we have the kittens and beast expansions now in all cases he has a quick overview of the video Here's a quick overview of all his content as well, if you want video content as well, covering those various changes. Kitten and Beast models is going to be as follows. Kittens and Beast module is providing three new things. It's providing kittens, it's providing beasts, and it's providing new events, okay? So it's called Kittens and Beast, but it really has three things. Kittens are going to be extra tiles that are a reward for being the fastest player, which is interesting because speaking from my own plays of Isle of Cats, I can say that while being the fastest player has always been advantageous, it has not necessarily been so advantageous that it's worth getting the extra cards to do so. This will potentially change that. This will give you more of an incentive to be the fastest player so you can get extra kittens onto your boat. Secondly, we're going to have the beast module. The beast module is basically going to be a bunch of beasts, with a lot, as well as they're going to have meeples as well, just the same game, the same way the game always did. So you're going to have a bunch of beasts that have little icons on them. You can see them there. Those are going to be the families, that, to the color families that the beasts want to be next to, want to be touching. So again, both are provides a new thing. That's just like that little dog beast is adorable because it's a dog on the cat boat. But all these dogs effectively want, all these beasts effectively want to be next to various cat families so it's another little mental puzzle to juggle as you play this game the event module is going to provide things that go through round by round so you have additional events that can play out affecting the rounds affecting as you go through the game so again you have a number of different things such as you know changing the order of play changing the reward structure giving you extra treasures when you get a treasure all kinds of small little nuanced things that will just affect the gameplay and shift up the game to to any any preset patterns or norms you've developed playing isle of cats well they'll change when you go through this module over here and then from there, we move to the boat pack. The boat pack is going to be the second expansion. So the first expansion is uh, kittens, beasts, and vents. The third, is, the second expansion is going to be the boat pack, which is giving you six new boats. We'll go through them down below, but effectively they're new designs for the game. They're new designs for the for when you play Isle of Cats. If you've gotten a little bit stagnant playing the same exact board every single time, with the only variation really being where the map tokens are, where those little uh, token things are for the extra treasures, and where the rats are located, but the same exact shape past that. If you've gotten bored of that as speaking for myself i have well then this gives you new boats new variety you can play with a whole bunch of new boats giving you more options to play the game more options to feel like you're faced with a slightly different challenge every single time and that's going to be the boat pack then we have the kickstarter pack 2 which is what we're going to see developed throughout the course of the campaign this is where you should make sure to subscribe to the channel where every monday i will cover things and towards the end of this kickstarter i will cover any updates in the Kickstarter pack in terms of what they've added to that Kickstarter pack to whatever. For right now, they've added, you know, larger meeples, more me they've, they've upgraded the size of the, the, the meeples you're going to have. They've also added additional events, things like that. 
this is standard for what they did in the first Kickstarter. They added more content, but not new content. So it was like, oh, you have lessons, you have more lessons. Oh, you have tiles, you have more tiles. That is typically what they have done with their Kickstarter stuff in order to make the game better and reward the people who have backed it while not making others feel like they're losing out because you're getting the same game just with a drop less variety in that game. And that's going to be the Kickstarter pack too. Those are the three expansions you'll be getting. So again, Kittens, Beasts, and Events, the Boat Pack, and then whatever they put into the Kickstarter pack. That is pledge level one in terms of your options. Next up, we have the big two minute box with section four over here. The big two minute box is going to be giving you, well, a bigger box because you can't fit everything into the original Isle of Cats box. But then not only is it a, big, a bigger box, it is a bigger box with, with along with a wooden insert that's meant to give you a two minute setup to the game. He has a video of him setting up the game in two minutes with no cuts with the big box. And those are all expansions, all the stuff, everything. Uh, having watched that video, I can tell you that this looks like it'll do the trick. This looks like it's going to make Isle of Cats an even quicker game to set up, even with all the expansion content than it was. Not that it was a hard game to set up before. It was always in the, the lower accessibility, the, the higher accessibility, lower setup times. But for right now, this would be even better, especially if you're getting all that content and you're concerned that it's going to bog you down. Well, then this box will potentially add to your ability to get it to the table. From there, we have the Explore and Draw. The Explore and Draw is going to be the Explore and Draw is going to basically be their new game, which is giving you the same general core gameplay of Isle of Cats. The idea being that you're going to lay out a grid of 12 cards, and then every player will choose a row or column to fill up their boat. So think of it like Welcome to. Welcome to is going to be a game where we all the players have the same choices, but the way each player chooses to diversify their strategy and make different choices will continue to guide them throughout the game. So this is the same idea. You all have the exact same choices. You can all theoretically play the exact same game it is not likely you are likely to actually start branching out and diversifying and then coming there to seeing who managed to take the exact same puzzle and end up in the best place as well as triggering abilities things like that but it's giving you the condensed core isle cats gameplay but in a roll and write system what they're calling explore and draw but it's that same general concept and i like roll and writes and i like welcome to quite a bit so yes i'm interested in this uh, explore and draw moving up from there Moving up, this is going to cover the core gameplay. Oh, and then we have the Explore and Draw Kickstarter promo, promo kit, which is worth mentioning, which are going to give you extra cards with different things on them, so more options as well. So there's the like, same idea as before. It's going to be giving you extra content for the game that you're getting in terms of keeping the same game the same, but giving you a few extra options, a few extra cards. And then finally, we have the Enamel Pin Collection. This is going to be if you want a bunch of Enamel Pins, then you can go ahead and get these. From there, we have photos of the various components and whatnot, and then the reward options over here, giving you, again, a quick summary of all those things that they just guided you for, guided you through. So you can see over here, and you can ignore that red column. That's going to be the official price or whatnot. That's not the actual price you would see at retail, though. So that that perceived discount is higher than the actual discount at play. Uh, from there, we have Kicks, Kittens, Beasts, and Boat Pack, which is going to be 43 pounds. The big two-minute box, which is 40 pounds. And a big box with an insert at 40 pounds is roughly in the market of what an insert would... I mean, an insert like this would probably cost roughly 30 40 dollars on its own plus the fact that you're getting a bigger box as well so yeah it definitely is reasonably priced there the explore and draw game is 25 pounds which arguably is in the high end for a roll and write but that depends on what we we go through and we'll get to the should you back it down below there'll be a, again timestamps down below uh the enamel pin collection 25 pounds the isle of cats core game for 45 pounds this is the first one i can say offhand you can get it online for 38 dollars so this on its own is certainly not worth it we have the late arrivals five and six player expansion 22 pounds again i don't recommend playing this game at four players at at five players or more but if you particularly want to play it with a five player group then that's your only option then we have the kickstarter pack which is giving you more content the kickstarter pack like i said already is going to be extra lessons extra tiles extra treasures extra oshacks all those kinds of things then we have the bag of cats and the bag of fish which are going to be those wooden deluxified bits from the original kickstarter as well that is going to be everything there. Lastly, shipping. Let's cover shipping. Shipping is going to be, let's scroll down over here. Let's see what we got over here. We cover that. We got the kittens and beasts showing you all the various tiles. So if you want to scroll through the page, you can see all the events, all the kittens, all the beasts, all the tiles, the rats, the general cards, the boat pack. Here you can see the various boats. We're going to cover shipping and VAT shortly. So you can see the various boat designs. Again, they're not drastically different, but they are going to mix up your experience. If you're looking for something that is a new puzzle every time, new boats will do that for you. Uh, the Kickstarter pack so far has, you know, more events, some new beasts, some large Larger, beat, larger upgrades, some new cats, all that so far. And again, there's going to be more added as we go. And then we have the Isle of Cats base game. And I want to scroll down to the VAT and what's it called? And there's a schedule of all the things coming as well. Some more videos, more content, both his as well as his own. He does a lot of his own videos. Very solidly done. So good job there. And then where is the VAT and shipping? So 
Shipping is over here. Shipping is over here. Shipping is going to run you anywhere between 8 and 21 for the cheap side of the of the U.S., of contiguous U.S., and then it just continues to go up from there to anything from, like, the highest looks like Alaska and Hawaii is 37.56, but it gets even higher, so, so depending on which where you are internationally, looks like the rest of the world is going to be 50 pounds up to 75 pounds, depending on what pledge level you get. That could drastically add. Uh, that is supposedly covered on those things. The reward shipping and tax costs shown on this page include everything you will need to pay. There'll be no additional taxes, VAT, or other charges added in the pledge manager, which finally brings us to the should you back it, should you not. So, Isle of Cats. Isle of Cats, which is, by the way, Isle of Cats is an 8.0 on Board Game Geek. It's currently at ranked 102. It is just outside the top 100, and I would argue it's likely going to make its way into the top 100. This is a good game by all accounts. This is a game that, my own personal opinion of the game, is I like the game. I eventually moved on from it, but I actually am interested in potentially getting this stuff again because... The things they're adding are things I would want. New boats adds variety. New canoe, the kittens, the beasts, the the events, all those things add to a game that I was I liked but was on the fence about. I'm gonna shout out to Planet Unknown here. Planet Unknown is a game I'm looking forward to. One of the reasons I'm looking forward to it is because every single planet you play on, when you play with the the customized planet, the variable planets, not the preset ones, every single planet is going to give you a different puzzle to go through. And so similarly, to that end, these boats are going to help with the variety, the kittens, the beasts, the, the, the event module, all those things are more content for a game that I did like, but came shy of loving. And so Isle of Cats, which is a game that many people already love, I am already pulled in and intrigued by this new content. I believe it will easily end up in the top 100 as time goes on, but the should you back a part of this video is a little bit more complicated because the pledge levels you're paying here are expensive so let's cover two things here to begin with let's look at the old kickstarter the old kickstarter just looking at the old kickstarter where the all-in pledge was i believe 70 pounds over there plus shipping if you just go through the, the second hand market if you go to the marketplace and see all the sales of what things sold for it basically looks like uh, for the most part and you have to filter out retail options here so you're gonna have to go through each one but as you scroll through these options as you click through them for the most part it looks like isle of cats was a game that sold for either at or below its price and i would argue most of the time below its price and the reason for that is nothing to do with this game being good the reason for that has to be at the fact that this game they give you it's such a good game on its own you can buy it for $38 on, online it's a good game as it is and the kickstarter content doesn't necessarily add enough value compared to the price point that that it's adding because it, it's it costs a decent chunk more it adds a, a little bit more variety that isn't necessarily noticed game to game it is going to be noticed by those who play the game a lot more but that's why if you look in the second hand market you can see that many times people are selling their $70, 70 pound pledge, 70 pounds, not dollars, the 70 pound pledge plus shipping is being sold for like $50, $60, taking a decent hit on the value. I would argue that we're likely going to see most of the same thing here, but with there are some caveats. The the box changes things up a bit. The fact that the content you're seeing is different. I mean, the most keep in mind, most of this content will go to retail. The Kickstarter stuff will not necessarily go to retail. The Kickstarter extras, those promo packs, those will be more exclusive, but everything else you're seeing here, even from the from the box, from the, from the new expansion packs, those are all going to make their way to retail as well which means your options on this should you back it should you not your options effectively come down to you can either a pay the full price here because you want the content that you want all the content so you're going to get it and you'll pay a little overpay compared to what you could otherwise get option two you'll get all the new content at retail and give up on the kickstarter exclusive aspects of what you're missing out on option three is you can get the kickstarter exclusive stuff on the second hand market if you're willing to be patient if you're willing to wait not to not only till when this lands but let's say six months out a year out whatever it is and you're willing to be more patient then you can probably pick this up at maybe a 25 cent discount or somewhere in that range from what the Kickstarter pricing is now. It could be a little bit higher because everything could vary. The differences between one Kickstarter to another can definitely change. So overall, the show you back on this one is a bit tricky. It's a good game. It's a very good game. If you want everything and you're willing to pay a little bit of a premium, go ahead and get it now. If you want to be mindful of the fact that they are charging, well, they're charging a decent amount, and in terms of the retail availability, the retail options, it's going to be cheaper at retail but with less content, and then you could get on the second-hand market, but then you have to hunt around the second-hand market. So a little bit messy in that sense. If your goal is simple, streamline, get it get it in the Kickstarter. If your goal is to count your dollars and figure out where to most efficiently spend your money, then I would argue wait for the secondhand market or alternatively get it at retail. You will not be missing out on a ton of content. You'll still get most of the good stuff for possibly close to half the price at retail. That has basically been everything. Isle of Cats. Until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. Hope you enjoyed this video and as always, have a good one.